In this video, we're going to create an image. We're going to do a composition in Weavy. And for that, we're going to use Banana. I, I'm pretty sure you've heard about it. If you haven't, well, it's one of the most powerful image generators and it's created by Google. We already have it available in Weavy. We want to get this image into this television. I'm going to import these two images first. Now we're going to right click and select nano banana i see nano banana here because uh, it's it's one of the tools that i use the most and if you don't see it right away you have you can go to image models and edit images and here you can see nano banana so in in this interface as it has a one one image node available but we can add another one here and that's where we put our second image. And by default, it gives them names, uh, image one and image two. Uh, but, but we need to create a prompt. So for that, we're gonna go and right click prompt. And we just have to make a simple prompt. So we just created a very simple prompt, put image two inside the TV on image one. And we can just connect these dots and we already have a prompt good to go. In this case, uh, it looks okay. I mean, I can, I can work around with that. I'm just gonna have to give it a little texture. We just select another nano banana model and I put another prompt. I just connect that and sometimes I, I used another tool that is the there is the prompt enhancer and it helps me to describe things it changes the prompt it gives gives it a little bit more detail I mean this kind of works. It's it's still too bright, but I think that's because this image is too bright. Maybe we can we can turn a bit down the brightness of this image. I'm just gonna disconnect this. Right click and here in the editor tab, we just go and do the levels and connect these dots and here we can just get it a little bit more and I remember like TVs can have like a very unique tone like washed out this, this is better and I just use this output and I just leave the same prompt and let's run the model I think it's I think it's a bit better it's not it's, it's, it's still a bit too too like on the intense side so I think I'm just gonna have to change a little bit the brightness and and I think the contrast is a bit off. It's and it's very saturated.
and I'm just gonna rerun this one because this is basically to fix the contrast and let's see what it does and yeah I think that works better now that we have our image ready which is going to create a video and for that we're just gonna use um, image to video I'm gonna select the fast version and for the prompt I'm just going to give a very specific direction And I'm just going to give it a very direct um, prompt, which is a girl watching a TV commercial on the TV. Oh, I think this is kind of redundant. A TV commercial it glitches start prompting the image inside the, the TV while the camera remains static. And let's see if what it does. And yes, I'm aware that it is a bit pricey, but it's very good. And since we are making a short film, we want to put the best um, prompts that the, the best quality that we can that we can do. And now we have our render ready. We're just going to preview. And that is just perfect. And that's exactly what I was going for. Um, so that's how you can create these com uh, compelling images using um, compelling videos using just images inside of Weavy. I hope you'll really like this video. If you like, please consider subscribing and see you in the next one. Ciao.